tomorrow will be a better day, an essay that points out a whole lot of destruction in the 1900s, two world wars, a nuclear bomb, kill a few, flu, flu, and segregation almost all in one generation. But now thinking about it, was that its only creation? The author points out a lot of flaws in the 20th century, and that's what it appears to be. We only remember the hate and the bad we watch in the 1900s documentary. Now, isn't that just elementary? The author states that yes, you can't see the bad, but just inexcusable if you can't see the plentiful and if you can't see the beautiful. You might see that their generation were on their knees, that they were on all fours, but their generation saw, developed the polio vaccine, passes of civil rights, and the end of two world wars. Fighting for my future, my family, and even yours. Now, that ugly is just a matter of perception that correlates with misdirection and causing an inception for us to believe what is horrible and what is perfection. Is there a connection? Again, it's all about perception. Not to be mindless, but to remind us to be open-mindedness, minus the darkness, and open up the brightness. Now, it's our perspective that determines, determines what we see and understand. When you look back at the fall of the Berlin Wall, do you see a wall of horrible history, or do you see rocks tumbling down and families being reunited once again? What about your college, college, your college education? You see a paper that costs $80,000, or do you see a diploma that represents your hard work and will hopefully take you places that you never thought you can go one day? And so, in doing all this, you have to step outside your point of view and start believing that, yes, there is trouble today, but there will always be a better tomorrow. Now, what do you see right now? Do you see a six-foot uh, brown guy reading an essay, or do you see possibly see the next Dwayne The Rock Johnson marinating your ears with some words he wrote down? <laughs> uh, I'm pretending like you guys didn't laugh at that. <laughs> now, there's a lot to say. There's a lot to be said about everything, isn't there? You and even me. It just depends on what you hear and what you see. One thing I've almost seemed to notice is that there's humor in everything. Uh, when people find out that I used to live in the shelters in Los Angeles, most people say, oh my gosh, that could have been horrible. No, it actually helped fuel my creativity and created my arsenal of great stories. Whether I was talking to Alicia, the one who talked to her boyfriend all night, or Xavier, the one who only talked to himself in third person, the beauty was that that was my small family and I always loved listening to them and their stories always gave me hope. I still don't know why it did, but it did. Uh, during the time when we lived in these places, I had some unforgettable high moments. My brother and I managed to get on the Allstate commercial. Uh, so if you recognize me from somewhere, that's probably it. Uh, and uh, oh, we also got a wave from the former uh, governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Me and Arnold go way back. Uh, it puts a smile on my face. It puts a smile on my face, even talking about it to this day. In a sense, believing in a better tomorrow helped me cope with the pain of the present by developing uh, within me an outlet for the future. Rather than telling stories about how I stole food, I started telling stories about what I did for a donut. They brought me comfort and maybe, maybe, hopefully, other kids' laughter. My perception of these trials and tribulations of my past helped me realize my dream of telling jokes on stage one day. Uh, I chose to see the good instead of the bad. Of course. Of course, the pain is natural and the tiredness is relevant, but your mind is only focused, but if your mind is only focused on the cloud, you completely forget about the sun, which is there, I promise you. Allowing your mind to see the reality of your struggle is the first step to understanding your situation, but it is important to see everything, not just the short-term effect, but the long-term results as well, good or bad. Imagine every little benefit that could possibly come out of the struggle, numbing, brain numbing, the inevitable trials that you will face and hopefully will overcome. And I know you'll overcome them. I never knew my dad growing up. To me, how could I possibly miss that? I loved it, honestly. We may not have a bed, a gas, or even like electricity, so instead of having all the newest toys to play with, I had an opportunity to play through a with my brother, and as, a, and as a result, we grew really co close. The first joke I ever told on stage is about my father. <laughs> a problem turned into humor, and I called it a perk, all, all honesty. And uh, that's still my mindset to this day. And all I'm saying is to keep going. Um, no, now I'm not saying to justify the pain with whatever keeps you going. All I'm saying is for you to keep going. Don't justify anything with anything. Whatever comes your way, see the good no matter how small. Now, can we practice this real quick? Practice this? Could everyone close their eyes real quick? Close their eyes, thank you, sorry. 
Uh, now, I want everyone to think about the hardest thing that they've overcome, either obstacle, not even overcome, but still thinking about it to this day, whether that's losing a loved one, um, saying goodbye for your last time, or you losing in double overtime, anything in that nature. Now, now that you have that picture, you can keep your eyes closed and think about the good that came from that obstacle. I'm not saying pain cancels out happiness, because we all know pain does not cancel out happiness. But honestly, it just might. Not today, maybe not even tomorrow, but someday, I promise you. There is good in everything. Now you guys could open up your eyes. Thank you, guys. And um, I hopefully, I don't know this, but I'm certain of this. Tomorrow will be a better day. And this is what I believe, and this is what I know.